So I'm gonna be honest. I came into this with a pretty negative impression of Skims as a brand. It always just seemed to me like they were selling basics for really high prices and pretty low quality. But I do have to say that after this order, my opinion on the brand has changed a bit for the positive, but I do still think that there's room for improvement. I ordered a bunch of stuff so that I could get a good feel for the brand as a whole. So everything from pajamas to loungewear to those super soft t-shirts. The only things I didn't really order were underwear, swimwear, and shapewear. And I got everything in a bunch of different sizes, sometimes because they didn't have my size in stock and sometimes due to the reviews that people left recommending to either size up or down. So to start with the light French terry pullover hoodie. It's made of 72% cotton and 18% polyester. And I was actually surprisingly impressed with this hoodie. I really expected it to just be another overpriced basic, but when I put it on, I could actually tell that there was some thought put into the design. For one, the sleeves are a lot longer than on a standard hoodie. And for two, the torso is actually a bit shorter than you would think it would be. And because of this, the waistband falls directly above your butt, which I think is the most flattering look when you have a sweatshirt on otherwise you have to be constantly fussing with it and like making sure that it doesn't cover your butt completely especially if it's an oversized hoodie in their words the hoodie is slightly fitted which i would agree with and like i said i just think that's a more flattering look than the oversized hoodie that's kind of popular right now one thing i do have to say is that the color is a bit darker in person than it is on the website and because it is a terry material it's a bit on the thinner side Next up is the cotton rib legging and plunge bralette. These are 95% cotton and 5% spandex. And this was actually cuter than I thought it would be. The first thing that struck me when I took it out of the packaging was the Skims logo. I don't know why, but it just looks super cute. Then the color struck me. On the website, it looks more like a standard ivory, but in person, it's like an ivory with a touch of green. I buy a lot of clothes and the color just struck me as one that I haven't seen before. The material for these isn't super soft or stretchy or anything, but it's decent. I ended up sizing down for both of these based on the reviews just for the leggings, but the reviews for the top actually recommend sizing up. And I find both of those recommendations to be true. Everything fits, but there is a little bit of a gap in the waistband of the leggings for me, and the top does feel a bit tight, even on the loosest clasp. Overall, I do think these are cute, and I think they fit better than I expected them to, but I probably personally wouldn't wear these out of the house, so for $90, it's a bit steep of a price. And now for the soft lounge sleep set. These are made up of 91% modal and 9% spandex. I bought this set in an extra, extra small just because when I was shopping, that was all that was available. And I was dying to see this color in person, but the jury is still out. I can't really tell if I like the color or not. I actually think the website did a good job at depicting the color, but sometimes when I look at them in person, I just see plain orange versus a more neon reddish orange. And the reddish orange is the one that I prefer. The material is really stretchy and soft, so I definitely see why people rave about these pajamas. Obviously, since I ordered these in such a small size, they are small on me, but I do like the more fitted look, so I'll probably return these and end up ordering one size down from what I would normally order. I think in skims, I'm like generally a size medium, so for these, I'll probably order a size small. I just wanna say that the waistband on these at this size is way too tight to be considered comfortable, and you can see from these lines on the top that it's just too small. So so don't order three sizes down like I did just because I can get into these. They won't be comfortable. Now for the performance bike short and long sleeve top. These are 76% nylon and 24% elastane. The bottom line here is that I can't recommend this set. These need to go back to the drawing board. I sized up for these based on reviews that they're way too small and not at all stretchy. The bike shorts kind of fit me. They look fine when on, but the waist is more loose than the rest of the shorts. They're actually a bit tight on my thighs. They're also supposed to be high-waisted, but I find that they're naturally low-waisted unless I really hike them up. At most, I would say that they're mid-waisted. And then the top is just big and weird. It's not at all compressive, except for across the chest and back. And these lines make it look like my shoulders are almost too broad for the top. So I can't imagine this looking right, even on someone with a broader chest. Lastly the material is not very soft as far as athletic wear goes and it just feels plasticky to me. 
Next up is the soft smoothing legging and t-shirt. These are 93% nylon and 7% spandex. Okay, I was so hyped when I pulled out this shirt because it just feels incredible. This is literally what I imagined when I heard everyone talking about how amazing the materials at Skims is. But when I pulled out the leggings, that feeling was diminished. Despite having the same material breakdown, they don't feel the same. The t-shirt is so, so soft and feels like it could stretch to the moon, whereas the leggings are so much more stiff and not very soft. And just as I was thinking the leggings would be really prone to snagging and pilling, I noticed a run directly in the crotch area of the leggings. And this was literally right out of the bag, so it was pretty disappointing. My only negative about the shirt is that it doesn't stay smooth or flat looking for more than about three seconds. And then both the top and the bottom had a really strong chemical odor that caused me to take them off pretty much immediately after trying them on. Hopefully after washing them, the smell will go away, but that was pretty concerning to me because I've genuinely never had had a reaction like that to new clothes. Overall, I love the top, but I'm pretty disappointed because I like to have matching sets and I don't think the leggings are worth the money. And now for the soft smoothing turtleneck top. Again, the material feels amazing. The sleeves are nice and long. And luckily this one didn't have as much of a chemical odor to it. But the neck region isn't as smooth like it is in their modeled photos. Even the bodice gets wrinkled pretty much any time you move. The color on the website looks more white, but in person it has an orange tinge to it. I thought I could maybe wear this top with the cotton rib leggings, but both of those colors are a bit off from the actual items. It's also shorter than I expected it to be and a bit see-through, so I would definitely have to wear a bra. Then they printed the tag details in black on the shirt, which can be seen through on the other side. But it is really comfy and it feels nice. And now moving on to the Fits Everybody long sleeve t-shirt. This is made up of 76% polyamide and 24% elastane. So this material feels unique, but it doesn't feel super nice like the soft smoothing tops. I would also say it's just a bit less stretchy than the soft smoothing tops. So overall, it's still a very stretchy top. It's also much thinner than the soft smoothing tops. It genuinely feels tissue paper thin. The order that I'm doing this video in is the order that I actually tried on each item from the order. And at this point, when I was trying this shirt on, I was feeling pretty annoyed because the first item I ever ordered from Skims was the Fits Everybody Bandeau top. And being my first time ordering, I ordered in my usual size, size small. And that ended up being way too tight. Like, couldn't even put it on. So I ended up exchanging it for a medium, which did fit, but it was still pretty tight. And I just figured that that's how Skims is, being that they offer so many sizes, you know, from extra, extra small all the way up to 4X that, you know, typically those sizes would have just been grouped in with like the main four, small, medium, large, extra large. I was just on the more medium end of the small size group. Now this shirt is a medium and it's not tight in the arms or the lower body. So not only is Skim sizing not standard between fabrics and styles, but also within the same class classification of fit style. If I get a fits everybody bandeau in one size that fits, I should be able to get a fits everybody t-shirt in the same size and have it also fit. I feel like they just need to get their shit together because their stuff is sold out all the time. So it's not even always possible to exchange for the size that you actually need after the initial purchase. And if you choose to buy two because you don't know which size is gonna fit, then you have to pay for return shipping. Overall, I'm underwhelmed by this shirt. It feels almost like a costume. If you didn't tell me it was skin, I would think it was worth about five bucks. And finally, the cotton jersey long sleeve t-shirt. This shirt is 90% cotton and 10% spandex. This is another one that feels pretty odd coming out of the bag. Very unique material. It's super stretchy, but instead of feeling soft and smooth, you feel the roughness of the cotton. Like the Fits Everybody long sleeve tee, this one is loose in the bottom half of the shirt. It's almost like they allotted extra fabric for love handles or maybe like really wide hips. On me, I'd say it fits okay, but I would probably size down if I were to to order again. And lastly, the Fits Everybody Bandeau. This is made up of 76% polyamide and 24% elastane for the body. And then I guess the lining is made up of 84% polyamide and 16% elastane. Like I kind of mentioned previously, I ended up getting this in a size medium after I literally couldn't even put the small one on. And while this one can go on, I still think it's a bit tight. The elastic band at the bottom is very, 
compressive and very tight. It's not really easy to stretch whatsoever. So even though the top is, and you might think that you could get away with stretching into a smaller size, I would definitely say to size up at least one, probably two sizes. Other than that, it does feel soft, which is nice, but I do think that the material is also prone to snagging and pilling. One last thing is that this matches really well color-wise to Lululemon's Align Leggings in brown if you're looking to make this into a set. The total cost for this order was $832.12. Moving on to shipping and returns. Shipping in the US is free for orders over $75. Otherwise, I think it just depends on which shipping option you select at checkout. For international orders, they have 10 euros standard shipping or free express shipping for orders over 85 euros generally. There are no free returns unless you opt for store credit. Domestic returns cost $6 and international returns cost 15 euros. Returns have to be postmarked within 30 days of your order date and after you register your return and get sent a shipping label, you have 14 days from that date to drop it off at the post office. After 14 days, the label is no longer valid and you have to ask them for a new one, at which point you'll only be able to get store credit. So like I said, I don't think as poorly about skims as I did at the start of this, but I do still think there are some things that need to be improved. First off, of course, is the inconsistent sizing. I think that there's really no excuse for it and a company as big as hers and someone with as much money and people behind her, they should be able to figure that out. And if they're not going to, then the least they could do is offer free shipping and returns so that people can actually get the size that they need without having to spend extra money for their mistakes. Okay, the next thing I think a lot of people take issue with is not having enough items in stock for the demand that they have. It genuinely seems like they're doing this on purpose at this point in order to create a feeling of scarcity, but of course, it's super annoying for the consumer to not have their size in stock or to have their size come into stock for one thing they want to buy and not another one. So then if it doesn't end up being, you know, over $75, they'll have to pay for shipping. It's just something that as a shopper is super frustrating to have to deal with. And like I said, I think that they definitely have the wherewithal to appropriately forecast for their demand needs. The last thing I want to talk about is their website. It's not really user friendly. I mean, yes, you can kind of get to where you need to go, but once you're scrolling products, just how they have it set up with like the picture on the left side kind of describing the collection, it just kind of catches you off guard because no other website does it like that. And also something I found that's super weird is it, within those collections, they don't show every item that's actually part of that collection. Like you might see five different items, but once you click on those items and you look at the recommended category on the side of their product page, you'll see more items that were not previously just shown. Even if you were searching, let's say just a full category of tops, with no filters. All of the items don't show up in the catalog that they have you scrolling through. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna address is trendiness. I think Skims does have some things that are more on trend, but they also release a lot of stuff that isn't. And I think in some ways that's Kim trying to be more of a trend setter, which, you know, good on her, but it can be more frustrating for shoppers where you might find one piece of a set that you like and then not like any of the options you have for the other piece. It seems like she likes to launch a lot of more retro items that just haven't really caught back on in fashion. So that is all I really have for you. I hope that this helps some people make some decisions on their Skims purchases. Let me know if you have any questions or any other brands you would like to see.